What's up YouTube, it's Mike with Eyes and Reptiles. Don't mind my voice. Kind of lost it. <clears throat> so I just wanted to give you another update on the turtle habitats. Starting to overgrow. I finished this one. <clears throat> no eggs yet. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see in the back there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know if you can see in the back there. There's a turtle crawling there. I'll show them off. So this is one of the females. So this area here again, that's where they usually overwinter. If anyone knows what kind of plant this is, I've been wondering for a while. I've just been letting it grow. The pond. Really cool, I've seen um, little tiny baby toads out here, uh, tadpoles on the pond. I put some mosquito fish and some rosy red minnows and some crayfish in the pond. And you can still see, I don't know if you guys can pick up in the video, but uh, right above my finger, there's a little orange dot, that's a rosy red minnow. Uh, the male turtles seem to love the pond. I don't see the females go in there very often. Saw a little baby water snake in there the other day. Um, so yeah, pond's doing cool. Here's another female I just saw over here. There she go. So, oh, there she is. That's some cantaloupe. I put a deer antler in there, so if they want to gnaw on it, they can. They don't seem to, but that's another female right there. There she is. Oop, sorry. Let's focus. There it goes. In the pond. Pastas are doing real good. Some of the babies. That big guy there is a two-year-old hatchling. Oh, all the other babies are gone. Oh, there's a little one-year-old hatchling right there. Let's let it focus. So right there, there's a couple more of the one-year-old hatchlings. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Again, the bigger one. Let's see if it'll focus. Bigger one's a two-year-old, small one's a one-year-old. There's a one-year-old North American wood hatchling. This here. Elderberry, getting huge. The blackberries are over here. Should have berries soon. So you can see some berries coming. There's, I think the two males and a female, they were breeding earlier over in this corner. I don't think they're breeding anymore. But, you can see three different shell colors there. One on the left, one on the far right of the males, the one in the middle of the female. This here, this big one here is a peach tree. This here looks like it might be an elderberry, I didn't realize that. Um, but yeah, I got some peaches coming. This is gonna be for my new babies. Right now I had a, I had a North American wood that was struggling with the big group of babies, so I moved him over here. I have a bunch more babies coming from Chris Leone at Garden State um, this year. Uh, in August, they're all going to go in here until the winter. So I have some more raspberry and blackberry, blueberry, some more hostas that need to go in. But this is the new enclosure. I'm going to put a pond right around there. Right now I just have a temporary little water hole, but I'm going to put a little small pond right in here. Again, berry bushes in the sun part over here. I've got some wine berries. Blackberry, raspberry, blueberry, hostas in the shady areas. And in here I have two adult Gulf Coast box turtles. Oh, here's the female. Let me pull her out. These guys are awesome and she's real big, which is cool. But there's the female. Let me show her off. That's the female. 
And the male, he always is hiding over in this corner here. Pull him out, sorry. All right. So there's the male. These are my Gulf Coast box turtles. I hope they give me eggs this year because they're obviously adults. And they're way bigger than the Easterns. I didn't realize how much bigger they were. Let me sneak in on the breeding Easterns. Right there. So I have uh, 2.3 adult Easterns. It seems to work well. I planted a bunch of this elephant here this year. That's the only one coming in so far. Hopefully next year they all come in. So yeah, so that's how things are coming along. Coming along nicely as you can see. Starting to really fill in. Just the way I like it. All right. No eggs yet, but hopefully start getting some soon. And I will back out this way. Awesome reptiles out.